Statistics and science. Are they really the same? Coming up next. Okay, so I promised that the next video was going to be about science. And so here I am and I'm, I'm not feeling the science at the moment, maybe because what I do is more about working from the inside out, but I promise. So here I am. Okay. You know, if you're here for the first time that, uh, you know, this is a world community and we're talking about what you're creating working from the inside out and what's real and what's not real inside of fertility and perfect parenting. Well, if you're new here, definitely subscribe. If you're coming back, then welcome. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, no, <laughs> science and statistics are often very intermingled. And so many of us, myself included, are, you know, drawn in and feel more solid inside of a conversation that involves the science and the statistics. Here's the thing. As I mentioned before, statistics, statistics can be skewed. Okay. This is one thing that I learned in college that was huge over all the amazing things that I learned. This thing really stood out for me. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean that I can get any answer that I really want? So be careful of where you're getting your statistics. Now, uh, things are put out there by different groups with different agendas. I'm not saying that all statistics are wrong. It's about the integrity of the study. How many people, how diverse was the, the pool? Uh, so if it was 200 people around the corner from me, <laughs> that's not full diversity and that's not a full picture. And where in the world and what questions were asked and all of that. There's so many pieces that go into statistics. And I want to just give that little education piece because noticing where, oh, that's from a fertility clinic. Hmm. <laughs> that's from, and I'm not against fertility clinics. It's just knowing what the intention of the, the topic the statistic may be benefiting those people. Of course, it's like you and me. When we want to have that chocolate cake, we're going to be looking for the thing that says chocolate is super healthy. There's That's so natural. I'm not counting against that. That is useful in life. It does not mean that it's cut and dry. It does not mean that that is your story. And that's the main point. Everything that I do on this channel is about one thing. It's about you understanding and opening and getting excited, inspired by possibility. And so statistics don't always do that. You don't put all your eggs in that basket one way or the other. Then you have, you know, 40 something, 50 something. Oh wow, I basically have nil chance. What's the point? create all this cortisol and stress. And of course that is adding to your story of not getting pregnant. It's funny how that mind body stuff is really strong. So it's just coming into your own truth, coming into your own truth about what is next and how you need to move forward. How, what is your right next step? According to what I say, someone else says, but really what it comes down to is you. Okay. I'm Coach Ariel Anderson. I don't know why I did like a little cheer there. I don't know. <laughs> Where did that come from? I work with conscious business and perfect parenting and in and fertility. And that sounds like they don't go together, but it's all about creating and possibility. And it's so strong. And I know what you're capable of. If you're new, subscribe, like if it was interesting so other people find it, and definitely, you know, keep on this path of knowing what is yours and what isn't. Uh, I will see you on the other side. Check down in the description if there's anything that you're exploring. <laughs> see you soon.